What's up, everybody? I approach y'all here saying like a TIE is um, the pictures that you see flashing for your eyes are pictures of Robin Williams. You may have seen him in several movies like Jumanji, Bicentennial Man, Flubber, What Dreams May Come, Old Dogs, Night at the Museum 1 and 2, Happy Feet, Popeye, Death to Smoochie, Aladdin, Toys, Mrs. Doubtfire, Jack, Good Morning Vietnam, Bicentennial Man. Robots, Mork and, even the show Mork and Mindy. Like, I grew up on watching Robin Williams since I was a kid, watching the Mork and Mindy show, and watching that movie, Pine Pine, that he did with Shirley Duvall. And, and he was very funny. I remember watching the movie, going to the theaters, watching the movie Aladdin, seeing the movie Jack, and I thought it was funny. And and the movie Hook, and you see this picture, you see Robin Williams, Whoopi Goldberg, and Billy Crystal, and, but the one thing about these three was they were very close because they used to do a special every year from the mid-80s to the 90s called Comic Relief, and they did it for homeless people. These three people were so close together, man. That was like brothers and sisters. That was crazy. That was funny. They were silly together. And to see two comedians lose a best friend and a family member, it's like losing the right leg. It's like losing somebody so close like that is something else. Uh, I remember watching him, like I said, on Mark and Mania, even seeing the movie Hook. And one thing about it is growing up watching Robin Williams since I was a kid was something else to watch growing up. <laughs> and people don't understand about comedians is this man there's a when you become a comedian there's a thing that comes with it comes with this called uh, it's called depression it comes with the territory it comes with the territory depression and you might see this picture this picture of Jonathan Weathers and Robin Williams. The reason why you see this picture because they was co-stars on the show. Mork and Mindy. Mork, everybody remember Mork used to was an alien from outer space and he met a girl named Mindy. And they became friends and they became lovers and they became married couple. And they had a child which Jonathan Weathers played was Mork and Mindy's child. And right, God rest in peace for both of them. And Robin Williams dealt with drugs through the eighties. He used to do drugs with uh John Belushi. Everybody knew who John Belushi is. He was one half of the Blues Brothers in the eighties and him and Robin Williams used to do a lot of drugs together back in the eighties. And you might have seen him in the movie Hook, where he was in the movie Hook. He acted with Dennis Hoffman. Not Dennis Hoffman, but uh, Bob Hat, uh, Bob from, you know, the guy, the Bob Hosk Hoskins. Bob Hoskins from, uh, who played Roger Rabbit, God rest his soul. And it's sad to see him. He committed suicide. He was 63, and... One thing about it is, ladies and gentlemen, people don't understand. When you're a comedian, when you're a comedian, you're going to get stricken with depression. Every comedian goes through that. Every comedian gets struck with, the, with depression. It comes with the territory. It's like the whole drama and comedian mask. You got your drama, you got your comedy, the comedy and the drama mask, you know, the happy mask and the sad mask. It comes with that with the comedians because they do the, because they might be putting on a show for you to make you laugh to feel good, but inside they're hurting just like everybody else. And what, what people don't understand is that he has dealt with depression. He did a show with Sarah. Michelle called crazy 
which only lasted a season. I thought it was funny, him coming back to TV after 30 years since he'd been on Mark and Mindy. And it's sad to see that one of my idols that I grew up on watches since I was a gay, gay high. I'm 29 now, about to be 30, but growing up watching his movies, watching him being a comedian, being a fool on TV and in movies and cartoons like he did Happy Feet and he did Robots and his he was so funny and he was so talented that he took his own life. He said happy birthday to his daughter and he committed suicide which I thought it was sad to see a man with so much talent, so much talent that he has, that he was so depressed that he took his own life. And not, like, not to be saint, not to be mean, but I'm surprised. In a way, I am to see this man that's so loved, so loved by everybody and touched everybody with his talents and with his personality that he lost his life he, he took his life and and it kind of breaks my heart to see him do that and the, and the funny thing about this is not the funniest thing the most messed up thing about it is uh, you know I watch Raw a lot WWE and uh It was Hulk Hogan's birthday. Hulk Hogan's birthday. And that was kind of something else. It's like, because I didn't know he passed away. I didn't know he committed suicide. But when I was, a, when I was, you know, I used to watch a lot of wrestling. But to find out that when Hogan turned 61, that Robert Williams committed suicide, and I was, and I was like, God, it's like that's the saddest thing. You you feel good by celebrating somebody's birthday, the day that was born to this world, and then you turn around and find out one of your idols has passed away. It was bad enough when I uh, when Macho Man Randy Savage passed away, or the Ultimate Warrior passing away, but it's sad to see a com a comedian genius like Robin Williams passing away and I saw, and they was like so hard for people all these people that he acted with and he touched so many lives Matt Damon Ben Affleck he was in all, even on an episode of Law and Order SVU and I thought he was a good actor I thought he was a great actor cause he knew how to bring the funny he knew how to bring the drama he knew how to do that And to see him go out like it is like, man, why? 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 And it's so sad to see him go out like it. I sad to see this man die like he did. Now I'm showing all the roles, not not all the roles, but the roles I know if he's been in from Mork and Mindy all the way to the last, all the way up to Happy Feet. Happy Feet 2, I mean. From Mark and Mindy to all the way to Happy Feet 2 is his work. And it's something else to see this man gone. It's like watching your idol die again in front of you. It's like it was bad enough when people lost Bernie Mac, Richard Pryor, Jonathan Withers, uh, Greg Giraldo, all these. I don't know Robin Williams. I can't say I know him personally. I can't. I can't say that. But when you get so, not wrapped up, but you get so hung up on these people's work and their talent, the movies, the shows, and all like that they've done, you feel like you know that person. You feel like you know the person and when they do these interviews and they tell you how they think and what they feel 
on them, but they don't tell you how they really feel or what they really think, but they tell you what they're thinking at that moment. It's like, oh, what they thought back then, you get so, oh my God, he thought that, oh my God, I feel so, da 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 da. But, to see this man, see somebody that made you laugh, not like it, it, it was just something else. And when I saw, saw him do, uh, Happy Feet, and I thought he was the funniest penguin. He played two penguins. He played Ramon, and he played Loveless. What I, I thought he was very funny, and when he played the genie from Aladdin, and when he played uh, Fender, oh my God, the man was funny. And when he played, when they remade the movie Flubber, I thought they picked the right person to play the, the professor in Flubber. I thought that was just a great and one movie I thought he I loved was the movie Toy Toys that's what it was was Toys and he was very good in that movie Toys he was about a man it was about a, a man it's like his a toy was about a man his father owns this company this toy company and they made these toys and his father passes away and his uncle takes over and his uncle is a general his uncle is the general of the army, so when his father gave the company to his uncle, his uncle started changing the company into nothing but violent toys and violent video games, but he did not like it. He was more of what makes the kids happy, not violence, but what puts a smile on a kid's face. And that's what that movie was about, toys. And when I seen him in Old Dogs, I thought that was funny as hell. Seeing him with John Travolta and Seth Green, I thought that was funny. But when he did serious roles, when he did serious roles, I was like, this man knows how to bring it. It can be a comedy, but when you start seeing this man doing these com these serious things, you thought to yourself, this man knows how to act for real and it was something else to see and now I thought man this man was the greatest in acting for a comedian man cause you can see some comedians they come out they get out there bam they hit bam. they thought they can do this they thought that was badass billy gun but when they step out there and they see these veterans like Robin Williams Whoopi Goldberg Billy Crystal uh, Richard Pryor Bernie Mac Robert Harris, Red Fox, and all of them, they look at these veterans and say, oh, they my idols, but they knew how to make it work in that business. They knew how to make it work in that business. They know how to bring the funny when the funny was needed. They knew how to bring the serious when the serious needed. But like I said before, people don't know when you step out there in front of that mic and you start cracking jokes don't know when that depression will creep up on you and it creeped up on this man he survived 63 years and that depression finally got him after 63 years come on now you don't hardly ever see comedians die at 63 you don't you don't see comedians die at 63 nowadays you see them die in their 30s or 20s because of depression. They didn't know how to take the pressure like these vets did. Robin Williams showed them. He showed the world he beat a drug problem. He beat a drinking problem. He beat depression for 63 years. 63 years, man, this man has been on this earth making everybody laugh. And that depression came, finally came back and whipped his ass. But he showed the world he has done it all. From TV shows to movies to animation. This man showed the world he has something that nobody else has had. Many comedians like him that done it all. You heard me name John Withers, Weathers, uh, Bernie Mac, Robert Harris, 
Richard Pryor, Red Fox, Mom Mabley, Flip Wilson. They showed the world what they had. They showed the world, but you can never, ever find time like this no more. These comedians today, they can come out, I'm the baddest, I'm the baddest. No, you're not. When you do the things they did, when they, when you do go through the hell they've been through, then you can sit there and say, I'm the baddest. And these people showed you, especially Robert Williams. You go ask Whoopi Goldberg, she's been through it. Billy Crystal, he's been through it. You can't say, oh, I've been through it. You see, this man went through something. This man did everything to make people laugh, but to see him going like it's very upsetting. <sighs> but ladies and gentlemen, I told her like a T.I. is again. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Follow me on Tumblr and tell me how you feel about this, about the tragedy of Robin Williams committing suicide at the age of 63 and his wife finds him in the room by himself. Peace, love, and take care of yourself, everybody, because we do need each other in this world. Don't hate. Accept everybody for who they are and be there for people who really need it because one thing is, like I said, that depression can take you out quick, fast, and hard. It goes, it can take you out quicker than, a, than crack, cocaine, and heroin, and alcohol. They're all diseases, especially that depression. That shit will take you out quick. You just don't know how quick that depression will take you. You never know when it's going to hit you hard enough to make you take your life. And I'll tell you that for a fact, man. I've seen it with my own eyes that depression is not a joke. It's not funny. It's real as can be. To see somebody that famous, that bright, that star shine, his star shines so fucking bright, man. That nobody knew to flip it over to see how dim it was getting. That depression took this man. I don't blame Robin Williams. They knew he had a problem. It's like I said, when you're a comedian, that depression comes with the territory. That depression comes with that territory. If you go to be a comedian, this is what you need to do when you become a comedian and you starting to make it, go see some help before it hits you too hard to take you out like this man did. He survived 63 years, man, and showed the world what he had. And finally, that depression took him out. Like I said, man, peace, love, and take care of one another. Bye.